I love that tool. Reciprocating saw, cordless. Just makes work, light work of the demolition stuff. And it'll be handy for cutting a little bit of firewood and just all sorts of cutting, really. Anyway, so that's the um, chip rock pulled off the interior of this wall. I'm going to pull down those skirtings, denail all the wood, just generally tidy it all up, and then we'll insulate it. Uh, I need to work out how to. See. That's the um, eave going out there, and you can see a bit of light there, stuff, so no flashings. No flashings under there either, under the windowsill, but there's a pretty large overhang in the uh, eave, so not too much to worry about, but I want to work out the um, best way to just seal that as best as we can. Uh, then put some bats in, and jib rocket. And uh, we'll probably, because that is asbestos, so we're not going to touch that, but um, on the outside we'll probably put battens up and, uh, and weatherboards or board and battens or something like that. Considering putting a double door in there, even though there's that little bit of bracing you don't really want to lose, but that's the north wall, so it'd be nice to get a bit more sun through there. Likewise, back across here, on the other side, that's a new, at least new drip rock. I'm not sure if the framing is new. It looks like it might be, given the spacing. But um, there's the fireplace and lounge room. And this wall here might be nice to make that a double door as well. Get a little bit more light in from this, from the lounge room that is, as well as some heat if that fire is going. Because remember, the challenge here is to reduce condensation because uh, I reckon that was the cause of the the mold um, I can check that out there though I could be wrong I'm not sure if that's sort of something flowing down from the roof but there's definitely a concentration of that mold there The other thing is these streaks here, which is they're not serious moisture coming in, but still there. The rest is pretty dry, very dry. Okay. <laughs>